We had a full slate of semifinal games today in Coralville at the high school girls state volleyball tournament and a couple of our local teams have punched their ticket to the championship in class 4A and 5A. In the first 5A game of the day, Dowling Catholic faced off against the top seed in the tournament, Pleasant Valley. The Maroons trailing by four in the first set. They go outside to sophomore Kaylee Klein. She puts this one down for the kill, but Pleasant Valley is able to hang on to take set one. In the second set, Dowling with their backs against the wall, down 24-18. Ava Grotke and Kate Nelson come up with a huge block, but Pleasant Valley just could not be stopped. They're able to get the win over Dowling in straight sets and punch their ticket to the final. Their opponent would be the winner of this game, Ankeny Centennial facing off against Waukee Northwest in a rematch from last year's state semifinals. The Wolves took set one. Wolves and serve received the junior Avery vote powers through the block and gets this one to drop. Northwest is able to win set two, 25 to 22. Centennial with a six point lead in the third. Jaden Pratt and Maddie Ott put a roof on this one with a nice strong block. The Jags stay alive and win sets three and four to force a decisive fifth set. Northwest on a four nothing run until Delaney Miller gets up and brings the hammer down for the kill to get Centennial on the board. But it all came down to this. Game point for Northwest, Anna Pelds sees a hole in the Centennial defense and makes a heads up play to win it. Just like last year, the Wolves defeat Ankeny Centennial in a five set thriller to advance to the 5A championship. And in Class 4A, Pella trying to claim their spot in the state title game. It was smooth sailing in the first set. Dutch and serve receive. Katie Sheckle goes up and over and drops this one right behind the block. And Pella takes set one. In the second set, Pella staying in control. They feed it to their middle, Abby Brand. She slams it down for the kill. The Dutch sweep the Warriors and will play for a state title tomorrow against Bishop Heelan.